as at Monday, May 4th, the novel coronavirus disease COVID-19 has killed 250,125 people across the world, according to World Meter. Over 3 million people have been infected across the world, while over 1 million have recovered from the disease. This infectious disease is not only causing a serious global health crisis, but it is also posing a huge threat to the world economy. As countries around the world impose complete lockdowns, a desperate, harsh but necessary measure to contain COVID-19 spread, global economic recession becomes unavoidable, economists and financial experts have said. Thousands of companies are struggling with the impact of the many people across and many people across the world are struggling to cope with the economic fallout caused by the spread of COVID-19. Hundreds of thousands of people have lost their jobs and daily earnings. Sadly, about six months after the world has been brought to its knees by the pandemic, scientists see say the road to getting a vaccine may be far away. Though about 80 groups of researchers across the world are currently working on a vaccine, BBC reports that most experts believe a vaccine is likely to be available by mid-2021. As the road to getting a vaccine is still far ahead, many countries have started experimenting with drugs that have potentials in adding the recovery of COVID-19 patients. For instance, the United States recently authorized an Ebola drug, Red Disva, for COVID-19 treatment after clinical trials show it shortens patients' recovery time. Meanwhile, as COVID-19 gains ground in Africa, over 44,000 cases with over 1,700 deaths according to the WHO African region. Reports about the efficacy of traditional herbs in curing the disease started becoming rampant. For instance, a prominent Nigerian monarch, Oni Ofife, or Badeyeye, Enits Ogunusi, has said that traditional cure for coronavirus will be ready soon. The respected monarch said he has been collaborating with traditional medicine practitioners in the bid to provide a cure on time. He therefore advised the federal government not to throw away traditional medicines even as they continue to look for scientific solutions. Madagascar's president, Andre Rajolina, also recently celebrated and promoted a herbal tonic named COVID Organics. He claimed the ABBA products cures COVID-19. Madagascar has 150 coronavirus cases and 98 out of, the, of that number have recovered, leaving 53 active cases. No death has been recorded in the country. This made many to believe in the efficacy of the ABBA products. Even some African countries such as Tanzania and Guinea-Bissau have made plans to import the said herb. However, the WHO has dismissed the claim that the ABBA tonic cures COVID-19. Also, Madagascar's National, National Medical Academy said there is no established scientific evidence that the herb works. The academy warned that the herb has the potential to damage people's heads as its scientific evidence had not been established. On Sunday, May 3rd, WHO released a statement explaining its position on traditional medicine. The statement was titled, WHO Supports Scientifically Proven Traditional Medicine. As the world searches for a potential treatment for COVID-19, the International Health Agency said it supports traditional herbal products if they are scientifically proven. WHO said medica, medicinal plants like Artemisia, Anua are being considered for treating COVID-19. The health organization, however, noted that the plants and others will have to be subjected to scientific verification. According to Science Direct, a leading source of, for scientific, technical, and medical research, Artemisia Anua is a medicinal plant whose use has long been reported in China. It is now grown commercially in many African countries. According to World Health Organization, medicinal plants such as Artemisia annua are being 
considered as possible treatment for COVID-19 and should be tested for efficacy and adverse side effects. Africans deserve to use medicines tested to the same standard as people in the rest of the world. The agency, however, retreated that it is critical that any traditional medicine developed to treat the infectious disease must also have its efficacy and safety established through rigorous clinical trials. WHO said it is working with research institutions to select traditional medicine products which can be investigated for clinical efficacy and safety for COVID-19 treatments. The organization also said it will continue to offer support for countries as they explore traditional medicine which can work in preventing or controlling the spread of the disease. It notes that it has supported efforts in the past which have led to the development of herbal drugs which have met international and national requirements for registration and are being used in treating patients with malaria, diabetes, sickle cell disease and hypertension, etc. From all indications, the efficacy of African traditional medicine is not in doubt. However, where the problem lies is, the, is in the process of trials and verification. If African traditional medicine experts want other products to get their deserved seats in the world of medical sciences, then they must be ready to subject the products to clinical trials to authenticate their efficacy and safety. Just announcing that a certain herbal tonic cures coronavirus with, without any form of clinical verification cannot work. African governments must also work with traditional medicine experts and fund relevant research projects if we want our herbal products to enjoy the kind of approval and respect accorded Western medicine. Like the WHO notes in its statement, announcing herbal products that do not have evidence of quality, safety, and efficacy as a cure for COVID-19 is dangerous. Such herbal products can put people in danger, giving a false sense of security and distracting them from hand washing and physical distancing, which are cardinal in COVID-19 prevention and may also increase safe medication and the risk to patients' safety. Hmm. So guys, I don't know whether you really uh, get uh, the filler or the uh, mindset of a WHO. It's not as if maybe they are not really, they are against any herbal uh, medicine. But what they are trying to say is, is that it has to go through clinical tests. That it has to be clinically tested and proven that yeah, that it's not going to have a, any form of side effect. And I just believe that for the government of uh, Madagascar, whether the president is not to have come out, he does not work in isolation. He must have had a, a scientist, researchers in the country for them to have come to that conclusion. How many people, wanted and something people, and it is something people are, have received their, their they've recovered. <laughs> I want to say they've received their healing. Yes, they received their healing and there's no death in that country. And yet the WHO is not really ready to go in and say, okay, let them even test it clinical, clinically, but they are looking for a way to downplay it, in my opinion, to downplay the whole thing, because they are like, oh, maybe they think uh, Africans cannot just do anything that people can really reckon with. Well, if it's working for the people, I don't think there's any there's any cause for alarm. Pending when the their so-called almighty uh, clinically tested the medicine, the Western uh, medicine will be ready. Uh, it's just it's uh, I can say kudos to them. Kudos to the Madagascar country because they they are they are proactive. You cannot be waiting for that now. Instead of you to to put your brain into work and begin to know other look for other ways of doing things, and that is why we are different. Just that we need to really project ourselves because we make alternatives of of things. We are not just one way traffic people. It's just that uh, there are some people who call themselves leaders of this uh, African. Uh, countries they uh, they don't reason because of uh, they believe that they are they are overfed and they don't care about their people that is why we are having this problem this kind of a uh, discrimination that oh it has to be uh, they have to prove to themselves so that it to be their own medicine or whatever will be acceptable just like a or get the kind of recognition it deserves just like a uh, the western whatever but 
kudos to them. The ones that have said they, they know everything, they have a good healthcare system, it has failed them. It has really, really failed them. You know, that is to tell you that people who have a, have lit, uh, uh, things and they don't recognize what they have. I'm talking about Africans. You know, it is an evidence for you to look inward and see what can really, what it can make out of what God has given to you. See those who have a care system. See those who have uh, the technical know-how, medical know-how. And at the end of the day, see what is happening. Not that well, anybody is laughing at it, but see what is happening. All of those things uh, fail them. We cannot continue waiting for them. There are many ways to, to do things and to get the same results. Uh, the same results. Do things differently, but you see, get the same results. What are we talking about? Don't let anybody downplay all those things to you. So, guys, uh, let us hear your own opinion concerning this uh, a submission from a WHO. Leave your comments below and please let us have your take. It's very, very important.